Hi guys, it's Emily. Game day. And to watch a basketball game, we need popcorn, right? So I've got my handy microwave popcorn popper. And I'm going to show you how to make the easiest healthy popcorn. I have an Orville Redenbacher Power Pop and I love this popper. There's only one drawback to this popcorn popper and that is, do you see this little cardboard at the bottom? This is called a power cup and it's a microwave concentrator. And what it says it does is it maximizes popping performance, which I will say it really does. I hardly have any kernels at the bottom and it's super fast. But these do add a little bit of an expense they are reusable. So I'll use the same concentrator for 10 batches of popcorn at least until they start getting ripped and then you replace them. So this lasts a while um, and I will say they do a good job with the popping performance. So I will give them that. This is a half a cup. I'm not going to fill it completely full, but almost. About right to there. And then I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of water. And I love to add water. You can add oil if you want, or you could add butter seasoning, or just pop it dry. I love to add a tiny bit of water. I think it pops up nice and fluffy. And then on the top, it's a little bit moist, just on that very top layer. And then with salt, it almost tastes like butter. Every microwave is different, so your time might not be the same as my time, but I like to set it at about 245. But the real key is to listen, and once it stops popping, take it out. Okay. It's better to have a few unpopped kernels than to burn it. So I like to take it out when it slows down the popping, but look at that. And see what I'm talking about on the top layer? You can see how it's yellow. That's from adding the water. So that was actually just two minutes and two seconds. That's all that took. So I've got my popcorn container and my popcorn that I made at home for probably what, 25 cents? This is $15 at the Jazz Game. And I actually prefer this. I do love real butter on popcorn, but this theater style popcorn seasoning spray is actually delicious. So this is what we're going to use right now. Super fast, super easy, don't have to melt it. It's all ready to go. So I'll put a layer of popcorn. Here's another good thing about this container is there's a stopping point, right? I mean, if I use the air popper and make a big, huge bowl of popcorn, I will eat a big, huge bowl of popcorn. This is like a decent amount. It still gives you a lot of popcorn, but at least it's in moderation. So here's my layer of popcorn. And then I'll do a couple seconds of spray. Maybe just one second and then some salt. And then another layer of popcorn. Okay. Look at that glistening, beautiful popcorn. And then the last layer with some butter. Now this says it has 568 servings for this container. One fifth of a second spray. Come on guys, really? But I don't feel like we went crazy here. I feel like that's enough to give it a really good flavor. And then the salt sticks to it nicely. So hey, I'm all set to go watch the game. I've got my drink. Got my buttered popcorn. Go Jazz. Thanks for watching. Happy snacking.